Hey everybody, Red Diamonds Too Loyal, back again with another video today reacting to another Soul Snack video. Bank manager denies loan to successful black man. This video was once again requested, guys. Let's get into it. So you, you're here for a business loan or something? Uh, I'm actually here for a personal loan. Good luck. My credit is horrible. Bad. Not good. Mr. Ziegler, uh, you are what we call high risk. Mr. Walsh, I'm highly motivated. Mr. Ziegler, I appreciate your passion. Bruh, every time he's in something, he always trying to get over some, on somebody. I swear he is. I'm doing the best that I can, Mr. Walsh. I'm going to approve this loan. My man! So, what happened? It you got approved. I'm available to see you now. We have to be much more rigid with our applications. My, my credit score is through the roof, and I have more than enough collateral. I should be a prime candidate. Then you should have no problem, no trouble finding a loan elsewhere. What? Your application has been denied. Denied? Yes, denied. Hey, so uh, you're here to see the manager as well, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have a uh, 2 p.m., Mr. Walsh. 2 p.m.? Mm -hmm. That's strange because I, I have an appointment with him at the same time, 2, 2 p.m. Typical. <laughs> you can, you go first, man. No, 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 please, I insist. You're sitting right here and you've been here longer, so. You know what, I'll, I'm going to take you up on that offer. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. <laughs> yeah. So you, you're here for a business loan or something? Um, uh, I'm actually here for a personal loan. I find out if I'm approved today, so. Mm, well, good luck. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need it. My credit is horrible and uh, overextended on my house. Like it's, it's bad, not good. Wow, yeah, I can, uh, I can relate. I'm here to get a personal loan myself. I'm trying to build an extension on my home. You see, my mother, she's, she's getting up there in age and, well, she doesn't have the best of health, so I want her to come live with me and that way I can, you know, take care of all of her needs. That's so nice that you're helping uh. out your mom. You don't, uh, you don't really see that much these days, you know? Yeah, thank you, thanks. We always got Mr. Ziegler. Yeah. Know? Hello. Billy Ziegler. Pleasure. Good afternoon, Mr. Ziegler. Uh, if you would, follow me to my office, please. Okay. Oh, Mr. Walsh. It's a pleasure to see you again. I'm sorry. Uh, and you are? I'm Ventro Young. We met last Tuesday about the short-term loan. Are you serious? He go act like he don't remember him from last time. Uh, Mr. Young, is it? Yes, sir. I have a follow-up appointment today at 2 o'clock p.m. I'm sorry, you must be mistaken. Uh, Mr. Ziegler here, he was scheduled for 2 p.m. Perhaps you got the days confused? Um, well, you know what? I can wait till you guys are finished. It's really not a problem. Very well then, I'll be with you momentarily. Please, follow me. Let's do this. So, Mr. Ziegler, uh, how is your week going so far? Uh, pretty good, pretty good so far. No complaints. So, um, looking over your loan application, uh, wait, you graduated from Mango Park High? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so did I, class of 1992. You don't say. So what he gonna do, make sure he gets approved just because they went to the same high school? The world, man. Yeah, always great, place. always great to meet a fellow alumnus. Such good memories, you know? Really good. So about your loan application? Please tell me some good news. Well, Mr. Ziegler, as I'm sure you are aware, your uh, credit score leaves much to be desired. Yeah, but I've been working on that. My score's up 10 points last month. That's great, uh, keep it up, but that's not the only issue. Based on your salary, the value of your home, what you still owe on your mortgage, plus the credit card debt? Yeah. Mr. Ziegler, uh, you are what we call He's high risk. He's not okay. approved. Listen, Mr. Walsh, I understand why someone in your position would think that about myself. 
But here's the thing, Mr. Walsh, I'm highly motivated. And I truly believe with a little bit of time and some added capital, I can really turn things around. Mr. Ziegler, I appreciate your passion. And going over your accounts, I see that you have been routinely making payments on time. And, um, you know, you've been making some very positive strides. Doing the best that I can, Mr. Walsh. I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, perhaps going against my better judgment, I'm going to approve this loan. Wait, wow. You, I got the loan? Yeah. With all the other stuff he has that he needs to get worked out with, you're still going to approve him. Because he's man. white. Congratulations. Now, I expect you to make, uh, you know, all your payments on time. And also, um, if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact my office. Mr. Walsh, I got you. Rock solid. Thank you. You got Thank it. Thank you. You're the man. Hey, so what happened? It couldn't have gone better. They approved me. You don't say. I thought for sure I was going to get denied. Well, congratulations. I feel like when white people get white privilege, they don't see it. So it's like they know dang well that they they can't get approved for something or something isn't going to work out for them. But then because they're white, they get approved or something happens because, you know, that person likes them because they're white. But they don't see that. They just like, oh, wow, you approved me. Oh, wow. Like, it's because it's white privilege. Appreciate that, man. Hey, good luck in there. You got this. Thanks. Hmm. I'm available to see you now. Hmm. Thank you. Right this way. Why he act like he got an attitude? So, Mr. Young, are you sure the information you gave us is completely accurate? Yes. Why, why do you ask? Just the income listed seems a bit extravagant. <laughs> well, you see, but there's no way he could have that kind of income because he's black. Yeah, we, I own we my are, own no. business. I've been in business for 20 years and I have over 100 employees. Really? Okay. Um, well, what's your home address? Because I see uh, two addresses on your application. Oh, well, you see, I, I own two properties. The Mango Park West address, that's my primary residence. The other one is a rental property. I see. Uh, why not just sell the rental property? Why take out a loan? Well, my daughter and her husband, they, they live at the rental property and they're quite happy there. Plus, you know, the interest rates are kind of low right now, so this would be the perfect time to get a short-term loan. Huh. Well, I mean, you know, Mr. Young, that may be true for some of the bigger banks. Um, they can afford to take chances. We, however... He's not going to get. let him be approved for it. Are not that even though he can get give Sorry, I, his I, approval. I follow. You see, we are a, uh, a small boutique type of establishment, so we have to be much more rigid with our application. Nah, I, you say that because he's black, but I feel like you, you know, you can really approve him just like how you disapproved the white guy that had everything wrong with his uh, information that you saw. You approved him, mm. but sir. My, my credit score is through the roof, and I have more than enough collateral. I should be a prime candidate. Then you should have no problem, no trouble finding a loan elsewhere. What? Wow. Your application has been denied. Denied? Yes, denied. On what basis? Listen, sir, I'm a very busy man. I don't have time for this. Sir, I know that the candidate that was in here earlier who got approved I know for a fact that he was a high-risk candidate. How could you possibly know that? I have my sources. Whatever. <laughs> Is that all? I have a lot of work to do. Sir, why was his loan approved over mine? I don't have to answer that. Mm. Well. He races. We know why that is. Yeah, he knows. Let me ask you a question. How many loans did this bank approve last year? Off the top of my head, I don't know the exact number. Uh, probably like a dozen or so? 22. How do you know that? Again, I have my sources. Of that 22... So I wonder what he does for his job, because, I mean, he knows his stuff. How does he know that about your company? He works with other companies, so he got to know. He got to have looked up that company. 
how many were African American? Uh, I'm not sure. Hmm. Zero. 62 African Americans applied for loans at this bank and all of them were denied wow. despite their credentials. Wow. Look, Mr. Young, I don't know he what did you're doing here, but quite frankly, I've had enough. If you don't mind, please, I need you to leave my office now. Well, unfortunately, this is no longer your office. What? What? You see, yesterday I was named president of this bank. This can't be true. Yesterday I So that's how he know all the numbers. So think about it. If he's, he, he did his research on a property that he decided to, you know, take over. And he's like, huh, I got to get rid of the racist people. So he's getting rid of you. You know what I'm saying? He don't need that in his company. I asked the board of directors to keep the announcement of my hiring on the low. You know, allow me time to vet the business practices of this particular bank. Uh, it was a Please, test. Mr. Young, there must be something we can do. Oh, yeah, there's something we can do. You can leave because you're fired. Ha. Uh, no. Please. No. Don't beg now. So, I'm going to need you to gather all your things. You have five You'll minutes cry. of security. We'll see you out. Have a nice day. Hey, he should have thought twice. But thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and...